જય શ્રી કૃષ્ણ કેમ છો બધા મજા આવે છે કે નહી કેટલા દિવસ છો અહિયાં નીકળી જશો આપણા કોર્સ પ્રમાણે ગુજરાતી પણ લંડન થી આવી છે જો પાછળ સો what we do we we come to a place like atmantan and we go for a physical detox we drink juices we have salad because we want to clean the body we do a panchakarma detox with ayurveda so because we want to clean the body what do we do to clean the soul because the soul also needs repairing when we go through pain any kind of pain in our life any kind of grief sorrow loss the aura it's like a blade that slices through it okay and the aura for most people what happens then is it gets damaged and then so everybody knows what an aura is yeah so very short example of aura there can be three people standing in a room somebody walks in and nobody notices that person zero aura or there can be 1000 people in a room one person walks in everybody looks at that person strong aura powerful aura shri aurobindo had an aura which was 1 km long One kilometer long, and that was very powerful. When I was shooting for Siya Keram, I was playing Janak in that. Uh, I was sitting with my director on the first day. I was talking to him, and Ramoji Rao Studio is very big. It's huge. Everybody seen Ramoji Rao Studio? All from Hyderabad. <laughs> so I'm talking to him in one corner on a chair, with two of us sitting and talking, and then suddenly I see this big black ball enter the gate, and that was the color of the aura, black. and then he comes walking and he actually he to apne paas aave he is coming to us and he came and he said hello i said jai shri krishna so me to i don't i didn't shake hands but uh, then the director said this is actor so and so he is playing your brother hello mari gaya so for two years i was working the thing is you can have an aura which is beautiful radiant luminous makes you shine your skin shine makes you look beautiful what we are led to believe is that if we have an expensive bag expensive car nice expensive bungalow then people will appreciate us no people appreciate you the personality that is you if you are beautiful if you are shining if you have a beautiful aura otherwise what happens you carry a nice bag ha huh? you know the victoria beckham disease what it is you know what it is bag yahan hoye and then they are walking like this to so, bachi frozen shoulder the it is a disease victoria beckham disease but you orthopedic nahi you but you have to repair it you know so then you walking like this see my back see my back it's so expensive i paid 2 lakh for it will you be too limited edition but who appreciate it people will say wow wow sarla kitlo saras che and as soon as she leaves the bitch che na hoy ki nahi so what people appreciate is if you are really beautiful from the inside if you really are a good person they will be drawn to you like bees to a hive and they naturally drawn to you and that power that you get by being pure by being good by having a good aura that happens when you understand the difference between living inside the matrix outside the matrix so this workshop that we are doing today between the nine of us we are doing a teacher training course we do it once a year and we train teachers who want to teach the way i am teaching and so for these nine teachers we do workshops every day that they will teach this workshop that we are doing today is called the matrix decoded everybody saw the movie matrix yes you saw yes. so matrix is another word for maya maya means illusion and what we all do is we choose to live in the illusion it's our choice out of choice we want to live in the illusion so i was married before before i'm um, i have an ex wife so i was divorced and my ex mother in law had 1000 sarees 1000 sarees do you think she was happy no she was not what happens to us when we crave more and we want more and we want more the most unhappy person i know in my life has got 13 birkin bags 
four of which are limited edition, made of crocodile leather. And every time she is unhappy, she goes to shop. She buys a big diamond, she buys a new car, and she buys this. And she's trying to fulfill herself with Maya. She thinks this illusion is real and is going to satisfy her. It makes her more unhappy. Understanding Maya is understanding life itself. Living on this side of the matrix or that side of the matrix. This is where we all are now. And that is the other side. You have to choose which side you want to live in. Unfortunately, people see that. Huh? Saru chhe, majonu chhe. No, no, but we are safe here because you feel safe in that. So today we were seeing a film which was talking about the cave of Plato. It's a Greek, uh, you know, uh, philosopher. So Socrates wrote, our whole life we spend in, in facing a wall in a cave. We are in a cave and there is a wall. There is light behind us. And when the light flickers, we see movement. And we, say, we think that is reality. All of us. That is the, the Greek interpretation of Maya. So what is happening is the light is there behind us and there is movement happening and we are watching our whole life goes and watching these movements in the cave. Now we all know that outside the cave there is light, there are birds, there are trees, there is beauty, there are lakes, there are rivers, there are waterfalls, there is everything which is amazing and natural. Things that will make us happy. But we choose to live inside the cave our whole life, tied up like this. Once you realize that there is this light on the other side and you have the choice. As human beings, we have the choice to get rid of this nonsensical world we have chose to live in and to go on to the other side. But the choice has to be made. But you know what happens? You do one or two yoga class like this, you say, ah, majavi, bo majavi, mo majavi. And then when you go back home, and then what mother-in-law says, what brother-in-law said, Papa ne jona, Papa gave my my brother, he gave him a car, mani to di birthday mein khali card aapi di do. Chhe ki nahi? to, I got a birthday card for my, for my, my birthday from my, my dad, and my brother got a car. And then the next two years go crying about that, and hating the father for it. Why? How is love reciprocal? How is love a business deal? What I do for you, what you do for me? In the movie Sex in the City, everybody saw Sex in the City? Yes. Ah, so, she got him a Rolex watch and he bought her a TV. Oh my God, World War III. <laughs> right? The business deal was not perfect. Yeah. And that's not how relationships are supposed to be. Yeah. That's not an ideal relationship. That relationship is, I give you everything I have. My relationship with you, if I'm your teacher, and if you are my student, then my relationship with you is I give you everything I have. Every drop of blood in my body is yours. Take it. It does not belong to my, my wife. It does not belong to my daughter. It does not belong to anybody. That's a relationship. That's a pure relationship. Okay? So coming back to Maya. One example I want to give you. How we all choose to live inside the Maya out of our own choice. Is that there was a monkey in a forest. A very happy monkey. He had a beautiful monkey wife, he had two beautiful monkey children, he had a lovely monkey house and a lot of monkey friends, okay. He had a happy monkey life and what happened? He saw this pot and it had a banana in it. He said, oh, nice banana, juicy one. So he puts his hand inside and he holds on to the banana and then he tries to take it out. But then his hand got stuck. He's trying to take it out, he's trying to take it out, can't get his hand out. Now, he sees these five men coming with sticks and chains and rods and whips and leather belts and, all, and he knows who they are. Because they took his monkey friend before and they've gone, taken him to the city, they beat him every day, they don't give him enough food, no monkey wife, no monkey children, no monkey life. Just dancing the whole day whenever they tell you to dance. He sees them and he knows who they are. They know what they're going to do. What does he do? He tries to get the banana out. His hand is stuck in that pot and he can't get it out. He does not want to let go of the banana. And what happens? They come, they put the chain on his neck, they beat him up and they take him. He's seeing his wife, he's seeing his children go, go past, he's seeing his paradise being lost. In exchange for what? In exchange of a stupid banana. And we are all running behind bananas, thinking that that is our reality. The reality is paradise. Once you let go of the banana, once you choose to let go of the banana, your whole life becomes beautiful, like, becomes like a lotus. And why do I say lotus and not the rose or not the lily? Because everywhere else there's shit around you. 
It's like a swamp. We're living in this world which is a swamp. There's terrorism, there's pollution, there is this, there is that. But inside, if you flower, you shine and you look as beautiful as the lotus. I was once in the company of a very wise man from the south of India. I don't know why all the wise men come from the south of India. I don't know why. <laughs> that tikka lagari now and all looking nice. And he said, finally, after being spending three hours with him, he said, so what do you want out of your life? I said, I'm going to save the world. He said, what? I said, yes, I'm going to save the world. He started laughing. He said, how, how are you going to do that? He's an old man. I said, see, I'm going to be advising governments. I'm, I already met the president of Guyana. I met the, the health minister of Mexico. I met the governor of Guanajuato. I met, I mean, I gave him all the list of big names of VVIPs, you know, presidents of countries. And, you know, I said, I'm going to advise them on how to heal all their people and how to make all their people happy so that the whole world is a happy place. Everybody's healthy. There's no terrorism. And he said, he's saying, the world is unhappy because they choose to be unhappy. Whoever decides to be happy can become happy right now, at this very minute. You are unhappy because you have chosen to be unhappy. Nobody is thrusting bad health on you. Nobody is thrusting unhappiness and grief on you. You are unhappy because you have chosen to be unhappy. The reality of a life outside of us is a reflection of the reality that is inside of us. When the inside is clean, when the inside is beautiful, when the inside is pure, the outside is also luminous. The outside is also beautiful. How do we know that? Four of us go to a restaurant. Me, my wife, my best friend, his wife. We go to the restaurant. Nice five-star hotel. Beautiful food. While we are coming out, my and my wife are here. My friend and his wife are here. And I'm telling my wife, the food is amazing. She said, yeah. And she said, it's a service. They were so good. I hope you tipped them well. I said, of course I tipped them well. And we are walking out and then we sit in the car. And then we're driving home and then, and then the husband says, the food is shit. Huh? <coughs> the food is amazing. And then his wife says, the service is terrible. I said, no, the service is amazing. But what is the reality? It's the same reality. It's the eyes that you choose to see it with. That makes it your reality. That makes it your reality. You choose your own reality. You choose your own life. The guy in the tikka told me, if the world wanted to be happy, they would be happy right now. Nobody is stopping them from being happy. They are choosing to be unhappy. Everybody is the monkey with the hand in the pot trying to get the banana out. Let go of the banana. Nobody is stopping you. Otherwise, you can have a thousand saris, you can have two thousand saris, still not going to make a difference. Right? Okay, so Kundalini Yoga is a, is a practice where we do Kriyas, Mudras, and mantras. Now, when we do something, it's not like yoga. We do one time up, one time up, and birthday you. Maybe we do hundred times up, maybe we do thousand times up. The point is, if it is a challenging kriya, the point where something starts hurting you, the point in which you feel little bit of pain, that is the point from which the healing is going to start. So the more you want to heal, the more you push yourself to train the mind, this is also the monkey mind. The monkey mind will say, put your hand down, put your hand down, put your hand down. It's up to you to listen to the monkey or to take charge of your life. The day you get in charge of your mind, the day you take control of your mind, your whole life will dance around you. I wrote six months ago, I live inside a dance. I live inside a dance. Everything is exactly how it should be. I live inside a dance, everything is exactly how it should be. Life is perfect, there's nothing wrong. Before spirituality, you're pushing this heavy boulder on, up, up on the mountain. We were seeing a movie today and this has a beautiful example. But I've given this example before in, in, a, in a workshop I do called Atlas Shrug. And it's, you push this mountain boulder up, it's very heavy, your whole life you're pushing the boulder up, your whole life you're pushing, it's really heavy, it's very painful, it's very tiring, it's exhausting, that's before spirituality. You know what happens after spirituality? Any guess? The boulder goes away, what happens? The boulder is still there, it's still heavy, it's still painful, you're still pushing it, but now you're smiling. Because you understand the process. 
because now you understand the process and you're pushing the same boulder before spirituality that you were pushing and after being enlightened when you're pushing it now you're smiling now you understand the process of life breaking down the fragments of maya from around us we break down everything that is ugly and unnecessary so that we allow the purity and the beauty of life and the miracle of life around us to take effect and to make your life beautiful okay we start with ong namo gurudev namo three times o n g ong namo gurudev namo three times rub your hands together and get your spine straight you want a beauty secret yeah before we start i do a class called ancient indian wisdom for beauty health and happiness it's a two hour class i'm not doing that class now but this is the one you do this and if you put some oil in it amazing but even if you just do this and you put it on your face and then you will do this no wrinkles you can look as young as you want for however as long as you want okay to the coconut oil laga di do sesame oil to laga di to vadare mujha aata okay spine straight om namo gurudev namo three times inhale exhale and inhale to begin om namo guru exhale thumb at the back four fingers in the front keep the elbow you can come aage piche agar paachad thai jao to kai nahi thai one at the back one in the front okay the, the elbows up don't allow the elbow to flop down okay keeping the elbow up inhaling on the left exhaling on the right what you're doing now is you're just opening up the spine you're warming up the spine to start the actual kundalini yoga practice
you are doing it really slow, not slow. This is the speed. This is the speed you have to do it at. Spine straight. Na na chi na 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 brahma. Last few seconds. Increase the stretch. Increase the speed. Feel the energy push up from the base of the spine to the crown of the head. And slowly come back in the center. Inhale. And as you exhale, take the palms, put them on the knees, and go in the Sufi world. Go round. Um, Last few seconds. And come back in the center. Center yourself. Inhale. And holding your legs in front of you, you flex the spine. Chest out to inhale. Exhale. Inhale.
Now, get your chest out, inhale. And exhale, release. Okay. That was the warm up, warm up for the spine. Now we're going to start a Kriya. Now when you're doing this, just remember, there are two kinds of people in this world. I'm not doing this one, but I'm giving an example. There are two kinds of people in this world. One kind of person, if you tell them to put your hand out, after 60 seconds, <laughs> that's one kind. Second kind. After three hours, who do you think is more in control of their life? Who do you think is more in control of their mind? Second one, right? Why would we not want to be the second one? Why would we want to be the one without a mental equilibrium, a weak mind, a weak heart, a weak life? Why would you not choose to be a lion? You can be a lion if you want, right? Why would you choose to be a rat? And that too a rat which has got wet in the rain. Why? Okay. In this Kriya, you put the hand in the Dhyan Mudra. And what you're going to do is you're going to just take it up. Stretch up. As if you want to touch the ceiling. Where is it? Oh, I'm trying to touch it. And then up. And when you come down, squeeze the armpit down. Just squeeze it. Don't let, let it go like this. It's up all the way and squeeze down, squeeze down, squeeze down. So the whole movement is really tight, it's really intense, it's not like a lalu. Huh? It's really strong. And when you reach the point when your hand hurts, that's the point where the healing of the soul is going to start. Okay? So push through that point as much as you can. Okay? Just surrender to the music, close your eyes, it's a meditation.
Last one minute. Push through. You're doing so well. Come on, Hyderabad. Thirty seconds more. Ten. Five. Four. Three. Two, both hands up, inhale, get your hands on the side, now you're going to take the elbow and hit it on the ribs, inhale, take the elbow and hit it on the ribs. If anybody has blood pressure, they can stop now. Without blood pressure, can continue. If you don't have blood pressure, continue. Hit the elbow harder. Hit the elbow on the rib cage harder. Last 15 seconds. And up in here. And exhale, keep your hands here. And now you're going to take the right shoulder up to the ear, try and touch your ear to the shoulder. And then the left. Squeeze as much as you can, squeeze. 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 Squeeze so hard, so tight, take that muscle. Squeeze that muscle. Take out the poison from it. All your emotional poison is stored in these muscles which you don't use. Use it. Use it. One by one. Up, 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 up. Shankara Namah Shivaya Giri 
Okay, squeeze up with both and let it go. Okay, in Kundalini Yoga, we chant mantras because when the tongue hits the palate again and again, again and again with the same mantra, whatever is blocked in the chakras, unblocked, it opens up. If you do it enough, it opens up. If you do nothing is happening. You're wasting your time. You should be in the spa getting a massage. If you've come to heal, do the process of healing properly, otherwise you'll go outside the class and say, Maja nahi aavi. Are, maja maade thodi aava cha apne. We've come to heal. And if you want to heal, understand the process and do the process at the way it is meant to be done. Otherwise, be at the spa. Okay, now the second round is with this. Okay, squeeze. I want you to squeeze so hard that it should hurt. Your muscle should be hurting. Tomorrow you should not be able to do this. Ah, you'll remember me. Okay? And chant. Whenever I tell you to chant, chant from the navel. Let the sound come out so that you heal the chakra. Okay? Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Rambo Shankara Namah Shivaya Girija Shankara Namah Shivaya Shambo Shankara Namah Shivaya Girija Shankara Namah Shivaya Shambo Shankara Namah Shivaya Girija Shankara Namah Shivaya Shambo Shankara Namah Shivaya Girija Shankara Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya 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 Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Girija Shankara Namah Shivaya Sambo Shankara Namah Shivaya Girija Shankara Namah Shivaya Last one minute, squeeze! Squeeze out of one minute! Girija Shankara Namah Shivaya Sambo Shankara Namah Shivaya Girija Shankara Namah Shivaya Shambho 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 Shankara Namah Shivaya Girija Shankara Namah Shivaya 
Shambho Shankara Nama Shivaya Dirija And now inhale and squeeze up. And release. My God, I am very impressed with Hyderabad. Very, very impressed. Okay, get your hand in front of you. Look in the space in between. Focus on it. And now as fast as you can, just hit. Shake. Keep shaking as hard as you can, as hard as you can. Shake, shake. Don't bend your elbows, keep your elbows straight. Shake. Even harder. The whole body should shake. Shake it. Last 20 seconds, shake even harder. And face up in here. And as you exhale, get your hands up. Let's see how this feels for 30 seconds. Only 30 seconds, okay? What you're going to do is, you're going to just squeeze as if you got this Mosambi in your hand. And you want to take the juice out. Only 30 seconds. We have to do it for 30 minutes. But you do it for 30 seconds. You will love your mother-in-laws after this. <laughs> Nora. Nora. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, bolo, three, 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 two, one. On your floors. Now just allow the spine to go wherever you want it to go. Just shake it. Move it. Just remember one thing for the rest of your life. You are as young as the flexibility of your spine. Spine bamboo ni jam karak thayyo to pachi pati gyo.
create that flexibility create that stretch move move the head move the spine move everything up down left right allow it allow the infinite wisdom of the spine itself to arrange itself the way it wants to arrange itself to go where it wants to go to do what it wants to do to be what it wants to be shake it now a little faster Now relax. Come back in the center. Come in Vajrasan. Okay. And next to you on the side. Now one thing I want to tell you for the rest of your life, whether you're doing yoga, whether you're doing Pilates, whether you're doing exercise, if you do your face like this and do it, you're messing up your whole nervous system. Keep that smile. Keep the face calm. No matter how how hard something is. Because even if I go to the gym, I see these beautiful girls doing this. Your nervous system is freaking out. But you go home and husband has to thump on my leg. But nervous system is gone. What are you going to do, right? Just keep the face calm. And now what you're going to do is hands on the side. As slow as you can, you're going to go up. I promise you one thing: you will not be able to walk for the next four days. केम मैराथन में जावा ऑल द नेगेटिव इमोशन ऑल द एंगर वी स्टोर इट इन आर मसल्स वेन वी वर्क दीज मसल्स विच वी डोंट नॉर्मली वर्क यू अलाउ दैट टॉक्सिक पॉइजन टू कम आउट विच इज वाई वी डू वॉट वी डू आई डोंट एंजॉय सींग यू इन पेन I would love to do a laughter class where we all go ha 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 ha. I would love to do that. If it help you, I would do that. But we are in a healing class. This is a healing session. Get that poison out. And the poison ke wo ek abar leech nahi jam hoye. I'm pakdi le and it doesn't want you to let you go. It doesn't want to let you go. No matter what you do, it doesn't any negative relationship. Remember those college days. If you had a negative boyfriend, he would not let you go only. तेरा खून कर दूंगा अगर मैं कुछ छोड़ेगी तो द नेगेटिव रिलेशन डजन वॉन्ट टू लेट यू गो एनी थिंग विच इज नेगेटिव इट सक्स ऑन टू यू लाइक अ लीच कैंसर इज लाइक दैट ब्लैक नेगेटिव लीच यू हैव टू फाइट इट दैट्स वाई इट्स कॉल तपस्या यू थिंक द ऋषि मुनीज ऑफ इंडिया आर डोंकीज और मंकीज दे गो टू अ केव एंड डू तपस्या वाई डू दे डू इट दे डू इट बिकॉज दैट द ओनली वे टू फाइंड ट्रू हैपीनेस Don't listen to me when you're sitting down. Keep working. It's not easy. I know it. It's the way you will understand what I'm trying to do for you. Work hard. It's only 40 minutes of torture more. Next time I come to Hyderabad, you're all going to run away from Hyderabad. Ba pre bhuta ya. We'll make it sure we meet you. A few more to go. If you want to be happy in your life, I'm assuming you want to be. Anybody doesn't want to be happy in your life? You can put your hand up. No, no. Everybody wants to be happy. The only path to happiness, the first step towards happiness, is good health. Yes. If you're not healthy, forget about being happy. Forget about it. Forget about it. Don't even try for it. Just take a bathtub and just sit in it and just keep crying and fill up with more water. Then you don't have to waste water from the municipality, yeah, because you've chosen to be unhealthy. This is your time. I'm explaining to you one thing for the rest of your life. You want to be happy, 
you want to make your life beautiful first make your body beautiful look beautiful look healthy be healthy feel healthy whatever it take oh mara paase to time nahi ghar ko ghar kon sambhal are mari jata to kon sambhal ha business kon sambhal se એટલે પછી હોસ્પિટલમાં વહી ભાઈ જાય તો પછી ચાલશે ઇટ્સ યોર ચોઈસ ડોન્ટ મેક એક્સક્યુઝ સ્ટોપ ધી એક્સક્યુઝ નો બડી સ્ટોપ યુ ફ્રોમ ટેકિંગ ટ્વેન્ટી વન ડેઝ આઉટ એન્ડ ગોઈંગ ટુ કેવલિયા ધામ ઓર ટુ આર્ય વાઈ ધ ફાર્મસી ઓર ટુ કોટકલ એન્ડ ડુ અ પંચકર્મા ડીટોક્સ નો બડી સ્ટોપ્સ યુ એન્ડ ઇફ યુ ડોન્ટ ચૂઝ ટુ ડુ દેટ દેન સ્ટોપ બ્લેમિંગ ગોડ વેન યુ ગેટ ધ ડિઝીઝ સ્ટોપ બ્લેમિંગ your luck it's your karma last three two one stay release come standing up you can look at your left and your right not here in life and you can say oh i am like this but look at her she is so like that you know i am so much healthier than her how about deciding to be the healthiest person that you can be at your age whether you are 30 35 40 i have decided that in the next 4 months i am going to be on the cover of three magazine as the healthiest 50 year old ever born i decide that why would you look and your the donkey on the left and the monkey on the right and choose to be better than them why not be why not use that option of being the healthiest person in the world okay inhale up and slowly down and up and down when you go up try and touch the ceiling feel this rib cage push up open up all your organs your intestine your liver your heart and then come down slowly when you come down open up the back side of your hamstring heel come on out of the 25 of you if five go back to hyderabad and choose to be the healthiest person ever lived in hyderabad ever lived in india ever lived in the world my job as a teacher will be blessed don't do it for yourself do it for me do it for your children do it for your friend do it for your because when you do it you become an inspiration to hundreds of people you know they look at you and say tumhe so thank you how are you shining so much how are you glowing so much and you inspire them don't do it for yourself do it to become an inspiration for others so that you can help others find the path
And those of you who don't have a knee problem can do a full squat. Those of you with a knee problem do half squat. Do as much as you can. Anuman Gyanstar Do half Do half You also To do half All the way down together All the way down together All the way down together Look into each other's eyes To support each other To give each other strength This is not romantic looking Viraja Subesa Kalana Kundala Kunjitake Atra Vajra Aradvaja Virma You can go up and down half. Don't get stuck. Up and down. You can go down full if you want. You can go down half if you want. Eja Pratap Mahajagaman Diyavan guni ati chat Naam kaj kare beko Prabhu charitra suni beko rasiya Naam ulan sita manamasya Don't come down too fast Come down slow with your leg muscle Don't use your kneecap Go down slow, come up slow. Ram Chandra ke kaj sava Ayas jeevan lakhan jiya Shri har vir har shivar What will take it no? I will post it. I will take it. I will send it to somebody. Sure. Don't stop! Come on! Last five, four, three, two, one, and hug your partner. Thank you, partner. Okay, left leg up, right hand up. I promise you that you wouldn't be able to walk for the next four days. I'm a gentleman, I'm a man of my word. Every time your leg hurts tomorrow, think about the fact that you ignored it for so many years. That is crying now for attention. That please don't ignore me anymore. I need to be happy. I need to be alive. Don't allow me to rot. Don't allow me to be dead. Hamaduare tumarakare otana gya binu paisare sabusukare tumari sarana. Hare sab pira chapat nirantar hanumat pira Sundar hanuman chura Anakam vachan dhyan jura Samukar ram tapas viraja Tin ke kaj sakal tum saan Paramanarat jo koi lave Sugat nid jeevanam Last one minute! Paratap tumana He parasid jagat jiyar Sadhu sant ke tum rakhwar Asut nikandan ramaduar Ashtar 
सिद्धिना दीदी के दाता अस बर दीन जान की मान नाम रसायन तुम्हरे पास सदा रख रघुपति के दाता वचन नाम को जन्म जन्म के दुख पसरा अंत काल रघुवर पुर जाय महा जन्म हरि राम का हर देवता चित्त न धरे हनुमत से कि सर्व सुख करे सुमत कड़ी मीठे सब पीरा जो सुमिर हनुमत बन भी जय 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 हनुमान ऑलमोस्ट डन ऑलमोस्ट डन गुरुदेव की नोदत बार पाठ कर कोई जो यह बड़े हनुमान चरीता हो सिद्धि एवरी वन टू क्या दिया हरी राम श्री दास विदय हरी चेरा जी जय नाथ विदय महारे चियावर राम चंद्र किरतिमूर्ति मारुक नंदन कर नंगल मूर्ति नंद and relax that's enough for your legs to be inoperational for the next four days that's enough for today what we're going to do now listen very carefully very carefully <clears throat> this is the most important part of what we're going to do today okay what we're going to do now is we're going to shake the body so hard so hard that every nerve ending in the body every cell in the body is on fire you know i would like you to go match in the candle like in the aag laga rahe hain you have to shake like you've never shaken in your whole life you know what heals us the most shaking have you seen a child the child is always shaking if you call my daughter her name is sanaya if you tell sanaya is she standing here and i'm standing there I just say, "Hi, I am." But she won't. She walk like this. The children know how to shake all the time. And you know what we do? The ganda thay gaya, mota thay gaya, chena abe. Stop behaving like a child. Sit straight. Walk straight. You allow. You make them stop shaking, and we destroy them. When you shake, you release. You heal. This is your chance to heal your soul. Just shake so hard for the next five minutes, like you've never shaken your whole life. I would go to the most expensive nightclubs and discos in the world, in New York, in London, in Paris, but I wouldn't shake because I didn't know Kundalini. I would take a champagne, very nice one, and then just sit there and watching everybody, not dancing. Now I dance at my daughter's birthday party. I'll dance at your birthday party if you want. I love dancing because when you shake, you release, you heal. That's how hard I want you to shake. Nobody is watching you, and if somebody is watching you, let them enjoy. just shake surrender to the sound that you hear surrender to the music and just allow the body to move with it
harder. Go. Surrender to the music. Don't think. and sit. The course that we are teaching right now, what the people that you see here are for, it's called Prabodhan. Does anybody know the meaning of Prabodhan? It's a Sanskrit word for enlightenment. The first step that you need to take towards the path of enlightenment is to drop your anger. You need to forgive. But to forgive you have to first get the anger out. The Kriya that we do now is called the beating of the drums. What you're going to do is you have your own drums around you. All these are yours. All these are the people that have hurt you. All these are the situations that you really don't like. What you want out of your life if you want something out of your life, you beat it. How hard can you beat it? Beat it till it breaks. And don't stop for anything. Maybe you say, oh, my hand is hurting. Maybe I need to stop. No, don't stop. Beat it so hard. These are your drums. This is your life. And this is your chance to free yourself of that anger. This is your opportunity. Use it. Create your own drums and beat the crap out of them. Harder. As hard as you can hit. Let your whole body shake. Whatever you want out of your life, this is your chance. I promise you will get rid of it. 
hit any situation any emotion any person whatever you want out of your life hit the harder you hit the more you heal in here and as you exhale get your left hand in front right hand on top and just shake as fast as you can shake shake it the first three chakras your anger your greed your pain the first three chakras clean them up so that you can evolve and rise up to opening the first stage of enlightenment your anahata chakra the chakra of your of love the chakra of your heart clean it up the first three chakras keep your fingers really tight shake as hard as you can shake shake faster 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 as fast as you can Last 15 seconds, even faster. <coughs> and relax. Can you put the AC off? Can you switch it off? Just press that button. Uh, just press the white button. Yeah. 
When we are born, we are like beautiful white flowers. Every cell in the body, when you look at it under the microscope, it looks beautiful. We look beautiful. As little babies, we look beautiful, right? But then life happens. The parents say, you have to be successful, you have to be rich, you have to be famous. Right? And your perception of what life should be is so far away from the reality <clears throat> that it takes you away from the reality. You're born in sync with the cosmic pulse and the cosmic vibration in, align, in the perfect alignment of the cosmic vibration. But all the garbage that you are told that you have to do to be happy, it takes you only further away. I know this because I was very, very far. I used to smoke three packets of cigarettes a day. I used to drink almost every day. I used to gamble five days a week. I did everything you can imagine and more than you can imagine. Very far away. Spirituality, for me with the help of Kundalini Yoga, was just coming back home. The same pulse, now going with the same vibration. Okay? So you need to understand that when you're living in that Maya and you're following what you were told to follow, you're like cattle. We're also going in the same direction. With spirituality, you have the option of taking the right turn. Going towards where you're supposed to go. Instead of living on this side of the matrix, going on to where paradise is, where beauty is. But now whatever your age is, all that garbage needs to be taken out. <clears throat> all those beliefs have to be restructured. And you look at the magazine of film fair and you say, the heroine is so beautiful. I'm an actor for the last 30 years. Half of them don't look so beautiful. You see them without makeup, you will start crying. And you want to look like them? Even they don't look like that. I was doing an ad when I was 18 years old. It was my first big ad with the first supermodel. <coughs> Excuse me. So I was very excited. I was so excited that I took my younger sister with me. And my younger sister was really young. She was eight years younger than me. And I took her for the ad, for the shooting. And the supermodel came 45 minutes late. So when she came, my sister said, this is your model? She's ugly. I said, shut up. You know, I'll lose my job. So <laughs> she, she came. Then she went into the makeup room. She came out after one hour. <laughs> my sister is saying, my sister is saying, this one is beautiful. I say, Eka che, Gandhi. So, we create this reality of what we think is beautiful, which is not a reality. And we try to be that reality. That's why we are always unhappy. We are always putting injection here, injection here, injection here, trying to make that perfect reality which we think in our perception is a perfect reality. It's not. The only reality is your soul, the nature of your aura, the color of your aura. The size of your aura, the magnetic field. You can choose to develop this or you can choose wasting your time for your whole life in search of something which does not even exist. So my daughter has been told from the age of two and three and I don't want you to stand first. I want you to enjoy. I don't want you to be successful. I want you to be happy. That's the drill machine. You don't need to be successful to be happy. You need to be happy. If you keep happiness as a goal, success will come. And if success doesn't come anyway, you've lived your whole life happy. That is more important. When she went, all the other parents of all the other 30 children, come on Ashwin, come on Avinash, come on this one, come on this one. You know, they're all shouting like this. I had told her, I had given her a warning. I'm watching you. I want to see you have fun. I don't care if you come first or last. I want to see that you had fun. So they said, on your marks, get set, go. Everybody started running. She started running on the opposite side. <laughs> and then she was dancing. I took her for a pizza. That's my daughter. Today she's a national level skate, uh, skating champion. She came number two in, in Maharashtra for Taekwondo. She, she's just good at what she does because she enjoys doing it. And that's the process for your child. If we say that your papa is a doctor, you have to become a doctor, you've destroyed the life. Because consciousness wants to expand. You cannot say, tell the consciousness that stop expanding, stop doing what you've come to experience in this world. You take a knife and you kill that child. Let the child do what they want to do. In your perception, it's failure. 
in your eyes that's a failure you don't know where it's going to lead to you don't know what's going to happen you don't choose now that does not mean that the child says i want a next box i want to play pugby you say ha ha this is your choice your field no 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 thodu to apne buddhi vapri pade the child says i want to burger every day now you know you can't allow that because my daughter does not ask for a burger she does not want maggi noodles she does not want stupid cakes full of uh, uh, sugar she doesn't want she wants she wants healthy stuff all the time she is eating because that's been she's watched us when you see a buffet and you see a child who's really huge and you see the child's plate be donut hoy pachi butter hoy ahiya jam hoy ahiya pancake hoy ahiya crepe hoy bhaji tarkari kai nahi and then he pachad ko ni na mummy papa in a plate same to same the child sees the parent and gets inspired by them what are you doing to inspire a child if you are not doing anything don't expect your child to be shining a, like a superstar like salman khan or amitabh bachchan not happening you need to set that example for your child if you are living on this side of the matrix as your child is going to live if you are going to be unhealthy your child is going to look at you and say that's normal mara mummy papa ne panche and then they blame genetics is it tumara je je mara mummy ne my mama had asthma my daddy had cholesterol i have got both of them it's not my fault it's genetic it's bullshit my father died of a heart attack at 52 i don't have any cholesterol everybody told me i'll get cholesterol my mother had asthma from the age of 18 i don't have asthma it's not genetic it's your choice stop blaming everything and anything that happens around you oh i was the oldest child so much responsibility on my head that's why i'm so unhappy oh i was the youngest child and everybody expected so much out of me i was the youngest child i was pampered so much that i could not grow and that's the that you know i was the middle child i was even nobody loved me you have so many excuses for so much shit that happens in your life take charge of your life take responsibility for your life go back to being the flower you were when you were born the lotus mudra think about yourself as a child how beautiful you are how happy you are everyone together tasavitur vare niyam ergo devasya dimahi yoyona prachodaya together in one voice now
meditation that we'll do today is Om Namo Guru Dev Namo is all we are chanting so the one characteristic of the other side of the matrix a life outside of Maya is a life full of love so from my school days Till today, now I'm a teacher, so every day somebody already asked, already asked me. But even in college and school and as, after I graduated, as my friends, they said, whoever came to me and said, nobody loves me. I looked at them and said, I said, how many people do you love? We're all expecting somebody to love us. We're all expecting love coming from an external source. When you find self-love, love for yourself, and you treat your body and yourself with respect and love your own self and then start flowing with so much love that it flows out in every direction you will be shocked how much love comes to you so even without Kundalini Yoga I knew the answer to that question I always told people that how many people do you love when it flows out in every direction when it just goes out when you generous with your love It's like magic, it's the opening of the Anahata Chakra, the first stage of enlightenment, the opening of the Heart Chakra. My company is called Anahata, the Heart. Find that love for yourself, self-love, and then find that love for all creatures around you. All creatures, for nature, for trees, for plants, for animals, for people, even for your mother-in-law. <laughs> Left hand on the heart, self-love, loving yourself totally, forgiving yourself for whatever you might have done. Right hand up. Namo Gurudev, Namo Gurudev, Namo Gurudev.
Please inhale and exhale. There are two reasons why I started teaching. I'm an actor. I act 15 days a month and teach yoga, Kundalini yoga, 15 days a month. I can act for 30 days a month, a lot of money. But I teach for two reasons. One is so that I can prevent people from going through the hell I went through in my life. And the second reason I teach is that I can show people the heaven I am living in right now. The bliss that I am in right now. But my job as a teacher is to plant the seed. It is up to you to flower or not. I have planted the seed today. What you take home with you is up to you. How you live your life is up to you. Just don't blame anything else at the end of your life. We're all going to stand up quietly. You're going to go to each other, look at them in the eyes, and just wanting to give them love. Nothing else, not expecting anything in return. You're going to hug them. You're not going to think about the sweat of the other person. Nobody's diseased over here. Just kindness in your eyes, softness in your heart. Your heart is soft. The heart is really soft. We try to make it hard. We try to make it strong so that we don't get hurt. But that's the nature of the heart to get hurt. The nature of the heart to be soft. It breaks. People stab you in the back. People slap you. People punch you in the stomach. People do all kinds of things to you. The nature of the heart is to remain soft. Because when it becomes strong, when it becomes hard, in that toughness that you create for yourself, you kill yourself. Make it soft again. Stand up and just hug everyone in the room. Everyone in the room, go. Guru Ramana. Guru Ramana. Prabodhan, you're not outside the class, you're inside the class. Everyone, that is quick. You don't like hugging? Open your heart when you hug. Give myself to you.
Please sit down. first day when I did my first Kundalini Yoga class, it was a very easy class. The teacher said, put your left hand on your heart, right hand open and chant, Rama Dasa. I said, okay, I'll chant. After five seconds, I started crying and I cried for the full one and a half hours. But afterward, I felt so light and so happy. And somebody told me my skin was shining. I got even more excited. And I realized that when you cry, all the pain comes out. So let it go. When it wants to come, just let it go. When you're watching TV, me and my wife, my wife looks at me and says, Why are you crying for this scene? Now explain to me. I said, I can't explain it to you. Said, it's okay, let it come out. How does it matter to you? You just shut up and watch. So it's the nature of the heart to be soft. Allow it to be soft. It's beautiful to be soft. When tears come out, let them come. They release. It takes out all the poison from the life. Don't control them, don't stop them. It's beautiful, it's a way of healing. That's how you heal. Okay, we're going to close with three long Sat Naams. We say Sat Naam three times. Inhale. Exhale. And inhale to begin. Sat Light to all and peace to all. Satnam. Thank you for your love, Hyderabad. Okay, if you want to know what we do, when we do, how we do, when I am coming to Hyderabad next, if you're on Facebook, you can follow Anahata Retreats. You will see my photo on it or this logo on it. Or you can follow Instagram, Anahata Retreat, or even if you follow me, Vijay Anand, you will know when I'm coming in which city. And also when we do this kind of retreat, Apre Shivar Kariana? Shivir. Avir itna ji Shivir hoye, ibada Ayya hoye, ke Goa ma hoye, ke Russia ma hoye, to me khabar padi jaste. Nahi to, you give Mudita behind your email address and your phone number with your name, and she will, what my secretary will do, 
Pranali will email you whenever we're having the event. And if you like the music, we have a pen drive. I'm not a music pirate, so I don't steal somebody else's music and sell it for profit. So we take that money and we give it to charity. We sell that pen drive for 2,500 rupees. Again, if you want it, you ask Mudita, she will give it to you at dinner. Okay? I just wish that as many of you, the maximum number of you will benefit from this class for the rest of your life and live the ideology that I've given you, that you have to look after your health first. Nothing else is more important than your health. It's the first temple of your body. Look after your health. I wish you all happiness and love. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.